fact, if you ever see this guy, Gerald Appel, he was the one who was credited with creating the MACD back in 1979. There you go, we're still using it today. Here's actually an example of a chart where I used the MACD and you can see some of the trades I've done on it. We're gonna talk a lot more about what all this means in a second, but here's some really important things to notice. First of all, the MACD is either converging or diverging. We'll talk about what you wanna be looking for and the strategies around that. The MACD is made up of a 26, 12, and a 9 EMA. And when there's a cross from the slower moving exponential average to the faster moving exponential moving average, that is when you get something called a signal, and that is often used as an indicator for a buy or sell. Also, a good reminder is that most indicators are lagging indicators, including the MACD. So at the end of the day, price action is always king, and I always recommend going to learn more about price action. I think that is the most important thing. The MACD is just a nice to have addition to help you avoid some pitfalls. And we'll talk